interviewed and is being uh, processed as part of the investigation. Uh, the investigation is very preliminary at this time. Uh, we were talking to multiple witnesses who were here at the scene. As we uh, gather additional information, we'll release that information. Uh, as far as the identity of the subject, uh, he has not yet been identified. We've not been able to make uh, identification to the next of kin. Uh, once that's completed, and we've worked with the uh, coroner's office, we'll release uh, his identity and information. I don't expect that uh, will occur probably until Monday. And at that time, uh, we'll release the uh, officer's information as well. Uh, sometime on Monday, I'd expect within 48 hours um, of our response here this afternoon. Can you discuss a little further about what the original call was on the scene here? You said they were responding to a shooting? Yes. So it was a single officer response. Uh, I was the only officer available at the time. He arrived here uh, on scene to investigate, and that's when the confronta uh, confrontation took place. And it all happened outdoors, correct? Yes, it all happened in the parking lot. Do you have a second victim here? So was someone, was someone else shot, uh, stabbed? No. no, so that uh, that initial call and information, we're still investigating uh, the circumstances of that, but uh, there was no one here that was shot uh, prior to the officer arriving. So. Did they give a, a description of the, sus of the subject? I, I'm not sure. We heard that it was a girlfriend involved. Where is she at right now? What's her status? I, I don't have that information. I'm not aware of that. You're testing body cams, is that right? Was the officer wearing a body camera at the time? Yeah, so this particular officer was not wearing a camera at the time. His cruiser is equipped with a camera. Um, and I know the investigators are looking at that information. I'm not sure what, if any, video there is. Uh, but he would also have a, a microphone on. And uh, so they're going to retrieve that information. Whenever he first arrived, um, was there any other officer here with him by the time he had to fire his weapon, or was he alone? <clears throat> he was alone. And uh, so this took place in just a matter of moments uh, from the time he arrived on scene until uh, uh, until the shooting took place. So, how long has the officer been on the force here? Are you able to tell us? Uh, I'm not. Not right. Not not this evening. So did he get into an altercation with the officer? Again, it, it was a brief confrontation. I don't know the particulars of it, uh, but that's exactly what our investigators are here tonight to determine. Uh, they're going to uh, take all the uh, uh, necessary time that they need to get that information, both in the physical evidence that's here and in the uh, witnesses who observed what happened. Um, what I can assure you is that there will be a, a full, thorough, and transparent investigation. Who's doing the investigation, Chief? The Hamilton but Police Department. Okay, thank you. And um, once that once that investigation is complete, the results of that investigation will be turned over to the Butler County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, we've been in touch with uh, Mr. Moser, and uh, he will, as a matter of practice, present uh, those uh, that investigation, the results of that investigation, to the Butler County Grand Jury. And we'll wait to uh, to see what, if any, action they decide to take. Two shots fired, Chief. I didn't say, and, okay. and I don't have that information right now. Do you yeah. think it was multiple? I, I don't We're know. Just not sure. Yeah. Um, can you tell us more about the weapon that was recovered from the suspect? Uh, what I've described so far is all the information I have. It's a fixed blade, uh, large fixed blade knife, uh, described to me as a butcher knife. The individual who confronted the officer, we were heard from some witnesses that he came out wearing something over his face. Are you able to give us any details of uh, you know, his appearance at the time? I, I can't. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar one way or the other. Do we know why he had the butcher knife? I do not. This has uh, got to be a difficult day for your department. Uh, I know that any type of you know, time an officer has to fire their weapon, it's taken very seriously. Could you just speak to that maybe? You know, I can tell you that uh, all life is sacred. And so the loss of it under any circumstances and circumstances such as this is tragic and it's unfortunate. Uh, there's a family uh, somewhere tonight whose loved one, um, you know, isn't coming home. And so that's, that's a matter that we take, um, you know, we take very seriously. And uh, that's why it's important that there's a, a full and thorough transparent investigation. It's also, a uh, very difficult time for, for our officers, the officer that was involved, uh, his family, uh, the entire department in our community. So it's important that, um, that we know everything there is to know about what happened here tonight, this afternoon, 
and that we get that to uh, the community and to you all as soon as possible. And again, that's my assurance um, to everyone that, uh, that we're going to do just that. So, Are you able to tell us whether or not this is generally a, a quiet area for you guys? or It is. Uh, I think you can see that uh, in, in the neighborhood that's uh, around here. It's, it's not an area that we have a lot of problems. Um, it's a quiet um, you know, apartment uh, neighborhood and community. So thank you. Uh, we will have more information again uh, as far as the identity of the individual involved, the subject and uh, the, the uh, identity of the officer. I would anticipate that will be released on Monday. Uh, next week, there will be a follow-up uh, press conference just to update everyone on the uh, status of the investigation, where that's at, uh, if and when it's complete, and when those uh, findings are turned over to the prosecutor's office. Is Thank you. Is cruiser cam going to be available on Monday as well, possibly? I don't know. Yeah. We'll get you that as soon as we can. Thank, Thank you all. Chief.